in this video, we'll discover how to use Rebase. But the interesting thing that we will go through is we'll also go through an example when we use Merge, because in order to understand Rebase, you need to have a general idea on how Merge works. So this React app is not a Git repo. So the first thing, let's just use Git for this folder. And now let's just add or stage the files. And I will do the first commit, which is the initial one, initial commit. Okay, and if I check the log, so this is the first commit. And what do I have here is I create a new commit on the master branch. So this is the master branch. This is the first commit. Okay, we'll add another commit. So we'll go to the components folder, open the nav file, and I will replace this navigation by nav. So let's just go to the bottom of the file, go to this navigation and replace this navigation by nav. Now, what do I have here? Git servers. I will stage the file, Git add nav.js, and I'll commit the change. Commit m and update navigation or nav components. Okay, if I just retype git log again and show and show the result, I have two commits. Now, what do I have? I have another commit within the master branch. Or if somehow another developer decide to work another feature. So he needs to create another branch or go for a new branch layout. Then let's just create two main other files that will go for header and footer. So this is inside this layout. So I'm working now inside. So I just pretend that another developer is working on this layout feature when you create two files header.js and footer.js. Okay, let's just add these two files and I will use two commits separately. I'll add another, the first one, which is header. Then I will commit the change. I'll go for add header. And I'll add the first one. I'll add the first one, which is footer. And commit the same change. Commit M. And I'll use add footer. If I just show the logs, so I have an add header and add footers. Okay, to understand what I'm doing here is just I create from the master branch, from the master branch, the second developer is just creating a new branch. This new branch is layout. Then he do two commits. So in this case, we are having this presentation right here. We have two commits, but this is the layout layout branch, not the master branch. And when we create a new branch, we create it from this position, from the second commits. So this is a starting point. Then we create a branch with two commits. And this is the master. Now we'll try to create a problem. And what this problem is, I will pretend that there is a developer one who works on the master branch. And let's just move to the master branch. And we'll go to this readme.md and change the file. Okay, let's just remove a line. Save that. Stage the file. Commit the change. Commit the change. Go for update. Read me. Now, if I just type git log, you will see that I have an update read me, which means that the master now has a third commit and the same one here. But the problem is with checkout or when you create the branch, when the other developer is working on this layout feature, when he creates this branch right here, it created from this commit right here. Now we have two solutions to adapt this layout branch into the master. So the first solution is merge and the second solution is rebase. And we will go through them both and we will discover what each one of them will give us as a result. To merge the changes into the master, you need to check out how to be on the master branch. Then you need to use this git merge and the name of the branch you want to merge. So for that, I'll use git merge layout. Sorry, merge branch layout. And this is just for the message and I'll save that. Okay, now if I just retype to show the logs, you will see something here and I will explain what we have here. So for that, we will do a three-way merge. Why? Because we have one commit ahead of the layout branch. And what this merge do exactly is just stuff this two commits. Okay, I will use another color. 
into one commit on the master and this is what do we have as a result and i will draw that into the graph to see that so these are the master commits and this is the merge or the layout commits okay i'll use another color these are the commits from the layout then i'll just stuff these two commits into one on the master branch we finished now with the merge solution now let's just discover what your base do exactly for that i will create a new branch and i'll go for a form method okay this is a new branch from the master now what do i have i have another branch which is created from this position right here another branch which is created i don't have any commits okay before i draw the the branch let's just add some files okay i'll go to the components then i add a new files i'll go for alert.js and i'll go for another file okay let's just tool type as an example tool type.js okay let's just stage the first one which is alert and commit that add alert and stage the second one which is tool type and commit the change and i'll go for add tool type what I did here is I create two commits on the four messages branch, but instead of using merge, I will use rebase. I create a new commit on the master branch, which is this one at the reset. Now I need to adapt this four messages branch into the master branch. Instead of using merge, I'll use rebase. And why I create this commit is just to create a problem like this one, when I create a one commit from the master branch which will be ahead of this branch. So as the same here, we have a commit, which is ahead of the four message branch. First, I need to move to the four message branch and I will use git rebase master. And this is what do we have as a result now. But in order to adapt this four message branch commits into the master, I need first to move to the master then I will use git rebase and I will use the name of the branch. Okay, let's just first open the log to see what do we have as a result. Now, let's just redraw the graph. Okay, I'll remove everything here. So the commit of the four message will be added at the master. So it's like rewriting the history. The commit that we had from the four message branches, they are now use it as a commit on the master. And this is what do we have here. So this is the first one, second one, and the third one. And when I use the rebase, I just use the commits add alert and add tool type from the four message. And now we don't have any graph like that because by doing that, we are merging the commits from the layout branch into the master. And by using the rebase, we are just like rewriting the history. We use the commits from the four message and we add them into the master branch. And the difference between rebase and merge, and as you see here, so this layout branch, when you are using merge, you are just using this commits from this branch and stuffing them into one commit. And this is what do we have here. So we just take these two commits from the layout branch and stuff them into one commit this one and we'll just stop them into one commit on the master but in the opposite one you are using a rebase we just take the commits from the branch in our case the four messages when we have this odd alert and actual tape and we, we rewrite this commit into the master branch okay let's just add these two types i forget to add them use this rebase wisely because sometimes it can create problems and by problems i mean that you will sometimes lose the history and sometimes if you are just sharing the work with someone when you are working on the same branch so it just can create some confusion just use it wisely and use the rebase if you know exactly what you are doing